It's always exciting pulling into a new home base for a bit, especially one that's entirely new to me and one that's this incredibly beautiful. Before settling in, however, there are some chores that need to be done. My friend Joey has been traveling with me for a bit, which has been a big help with splitting up the chores. A lot of people ask me how I get internet cell service when I'm out in these backcountry places with no service and that is with this guy here. This is a Starlink. It's created by Elon Musk and it's a satellite dish. Grab some satellite from the sky and I have internet and Wi-Fi phone service wherever I go pretty much. I know I can use a modified drill to make deploying these stabilizing jacks easier, however I don't mind the extra elbow grease it takes to do it by hand. Got some warm black tea and an awesome view behind me. Cheers from Gila Hot Springs in the Gila Wilderness of New Mexico. It is beautiful here. My first time here. I've wanted to come to this area for a very long time and now I'm here. The drive in was spectacular. Uh, went over kind of this I don't know if it was a mountain pass, but high over this mountain and the views were incredible. Just came in from Arizona where I did a lot of exploring there and it made sense to come over here to New Mexico. Right now the weather is very pleasant, very chilly in the morning. Uh, it's about in the low 20s in the mornings. However, the afternoons have been warming up to almost 70 degrees, but there is some weather on the way. The plan, for the near future is to do a backpacking trip here, but for this video, we're gonna do some camping, exploring, cooking. It's gonna be a great time at this beautiful camp with this amazing view of the Gila River right behind me. I've got my friend Joey here with me, and in a few days we have another friend that's gonna come join us. I think that probably tomorrow we're gonna to hike out to the Gila Cliff Dwellings, which should be pretty cool and I'm just gonna really enjoy my time here. It is beautiful so far and I'm already loving being here.
Cheers. Cheers. It does. It's crazy how like so cold it is in the morning and then it gets like this. From the campground, there is river access to the Gila River. So we're taking a little walk down here to check it out. Looks uh, pretty gorgeous. I had a message in my inbox the other day from a friend that I've known for many, many years asking me what I really thought of AG1 and if I really liked it. I don't know if she thought the answer would be different from the glowing reviews that I give all of you, but it definitely wasn't. I told her simply that I love it. I have never felt better than I have the last two years since taking AG1. And I just overall feel healthier. I'm honestly telling the truth that I would not rave about it unless I absolutely believed in it. It's a new year, so whether it's a new new resolution or just a recommitment to living healthy, be sure to start your mornings with AG1. Thanks to a science-driven blend of prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes, AG1 helps support gut health no matter where your health journey takes you. One of the best benefits for me personally is it boosts my energy levels and that's really important, especially as I get ready to set out on another multi-day backpacking trip where it's day after day of hiking. The convenient travel packs make it super easy for me to pop them in my backpack so that I can have them each day on the trail. AG1 also offers immune defense, essential vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced antioxidants like zinc and citrus bioflavonoids support immune defenses in the body. I highly recommend you try AG1. I've recommended it to all my friends and family. And if you click that link below, they will give you a year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. Thank you once again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now back to the show. So tonight for dinner, we are gonna have some beautiful top sirloin steaks along with some asparagus sauteed in olive oil and butter and some basmati rice. I love that rice, it's super easy, very tasty. And yeah, I'm gonna get started cooking.
can see my breath this morning. It's a cold morning. I would say it's in the low 20s for sure. There was ice all over everything this morning, but it's starting to warm up a little bit now that the sun is out, which is good. The mornings have been really cold. However, the daytime hours have been super pleasant. It's been probably close to 70 degrees and sunny and nice. Uh, there are some high clouds today and it's supposed to be a little bit chillier today. I've got my heater going right now, running off of propane. And what I normally do is I hop out of bed about an hour before I'm ready to make coffee, turn on my propane heater, let it get nice and warm and then get out of bed. I don't have it running all night because I don't want to use all my propane, but I do stay nice and warm under all the blankets on my bed. If it got any colder, I'd probably have to rethink things. In just a minute, I'm going to go ahead and make some breakfast. And the plan for today is to hike out to the Gila Cliff Dwellings. I've looked at some photos online. It looks super cool. So I'm excited to get out there and check it out for myself. It's going to be a fun day. <laughs> We're here at the Gila Cliff Dwellings Trailhead and there's a cool little bookstore here, some bathrooms here at the trailhead. It's about a 1.1 mile hike, a pretty short hike. And uh, we're trying to get it in before the wind kicks up. Today, there is a wind advisory. It's supposed to gust up to over 40 miles per hour. So we'll see if we can manage to get the hike done before the wind starts.
Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument is a U.S. national monument created to protect Mogollon Cliff Dwellings in the Gila Wilderness on the headwaters of the Gila River in southwest New Mexico. The 533-acre National Monument was established by President Theodore Roosevelt through Executive Proclamation on November 16, 1907. Considered by archaeologists to be upon the northernmost portion of the Mogollon people's sphere of influence, the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument is home to two prominent ruin sites, among a collection of smaller sites located within the Gila Wilderness inside the Gila National Forest. Archaeologists have identified 46 rooms in the five caves on Cliff Dweller Canyon and believe they were occupied by 10 to 15 families. The monument consists of 553 acres and contains the remains of a Membrase culture community in various locations, two of which are most prominent. The namesake ruins, developers made use of natural caves to build interlinked dwellings within five cliff alcoves above Cliff Dweller Canyon. Mogollon peoples are believed to have inhabited the region from between 1275 and into the early 14th century. During the Pueblo III era, it is not known why the community was abandoned. I could see why the Mogollon people made this place home. The views were incredible. It's nice and cool inside the caves and water ran down below. They had everything that they needed to sustain life. We're back here at camp and the wind is here, definitely. There have been some pretty strong gusts, I'd say uh, about 35 miles per hour, roughly. I have my tripod weighted down with rocks, so hopefully it does not fall over. <laughs> I don't want a repeat of the accident I had with my phone when my phone broke. So fingers crossed that holds it in place. The hike to the cliff dwellings today was absolutely incredible. I don't think that I've ever been that close to ruins. They are 80% original, um, only 20% has been preserved. So they're in super good shape, just phenomenal shape for as old as they are. Uh, they do a very good job over there, making sure that they stay that way. <laughs> they have volunteers up at the top at the ruins, a volunteer down at the bottom. And it's, you know, unfortunately, I think that that probably is a way that it has to be in order to keep them in the pristine condition that they are in. I cannot tell you how happy I am to be right here right now. This is a place that I've thought about visiting for quite some time and it's definitely lived up to my expectations and exceeded them so far. And the hike today was just a little preview of what this upcoming trip is gonna be. And that's got me even more pumped.
I get a thrill out of visiting new areas that I've never been before. I don't know if you all feel the same way. Let me know if you do. <laughs> as much as I love returning to some of my favorite places over and over again, seeing new territory is just so exciting to me and especially when it just blows my mind. That's one of the things that I love so much about this lifestyle is exploring new places, seeing new territory. It never gets old. It's been very nice having my friend Joey along for the ride over this last little bit. I've mentioned it in previous episodes that one of the things that I've done over the past couple of years to combat loneliness, because I get that question all the time is, am I lonely? One of the things I have done is just to make sure that I connect with friends more often, with family more often, and I'm not alone so much out here. And that's really helped. And having him along has been a lot of fun. And uh, it's just nice to sometimes share these experiences with others. So it's been, it's been really great. And he's definitely great company. So it's been just a blast. Anyhow, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we do have another friend coming to join us tomorrow. And uh, they will be joining us on this uh, multi-day trip so that'll be a lot of fun and uh, it's going to be just time to get ready get packed up and uh, ready to go the nights are going to be pretty chilly we're going to be walking through the water a lot so we have to bring some extra gear just make sure we're fully prepared yeah that, that'll take a little bit of time there's nothing really out here. There is a little general store, which I wanted to stop in today. However, they were closed. I wanted to show it to you, but there's really nothing out here. We are out here. So we stocked up at Walmart before heading out this way. We have all our food ready to go. I think it's time, which I'm getting excited about. A little nervous, but nervous, excited, but just ready to go, ready to get the backpack on, get hiking again. I'm ready. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I hope you like seeing this little bit of the Gila National Forest, Gila Hot Springs area. You're gonna see some more of it in the next video, a lot more of it. It's gonna be quite an adventure. We don't know what kind of weather we have coming on the way. There is some weather. We might have a little rain, a little snow, who knows, <laughs> but we'll be prepared. As always, I appreciate your support. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next adventure. See you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.